time to solve a Thunderbirds mystery. So when I was starting to gather Thunderbirds for this series of videos, I did one video on Thunderbird 4, which included this Thunderbird 4 here. And I said at the time that I really didn't know what its origins were because it didn't seem to fit any of the Thunderbird 2 pods that I had from various different sources. And you can see that it's, it's copyrighted to Carlton in terms of it's sort of it's kind of general era. Um, so you can see in the reflection of the light there, you can just about make that out. So it's sort of late 90s. And um, I put a, an ask out in the Thunderbird 4 video saying, does anyone know where this Thunderbird 4 comes from? Because it has quite a distinctive style in the sense that all it does is this. That's it. That's all it does. Um, but it does set it apart and of course it does make it distinctive. So it's not just a static model. And I had a comment back, which you can see on the screen now. And I thought, I've not thought about that as a concept. So as you may know, in the UK, um, we, we have this sort of, I don't know if you'd call it a tradition, but people like McDonald's, when they do things like Happy Meals, they tend to include toys and this comment said, I think that this Thunderbird 4 comes from a Burger King or a KFC sort of, you know, toy deal, basically, with their meals. And I thought, of course, that makes perfect sense. I think I'd, I'd half thought about, um, you know, sort of when you get toys on magazines as being a possible source. But this made perfect sense to me. And of course, YouTube being YouTube... I was very swiftly able to find a, a toy advert from 2001 containing all of these toys as KFC meal deal toys. So this immediately solved this massive, well, say massive headache, a headache that I'd had, a mystery, um, as to where these little toys had come from. And because they're not bad at all. Um, but it, it just puzzled me because this mole, for example, doesn't really fit with any sort of pods that, that I had and yet it had a reasonable degree of, of playability to it you know it, it did that and if it's if its wheels roll the the drill works at the same time so there'd been a degree of of care which made me think that it wasn't a knockoff as such because it's clearly labeled as such and knockoffs would tend to avoid that sort of thing but there was precious little on it to identify it and date it um I think I did ultimately find that on this this sort of outrig, outrigger of its caterpillar tracks here, there is um, a little bit of information, but not a lot. But the, the KFC ads videos were, were dated to about 2001. So that's quite an unusual sort of year for original generation Thunderbirds toys to be around. But I imagine, I mean, they're... They look like they were manufactured in China, which obviously isn't, isn't any great surprise. Um, but it's just not really clear exactly who in China manufactured them. So if anyone knows that more specifically, then you know, by all means answer, answers on the postcard. But at least now I know that they didn't come out in an actual official set as such, but they were officially licensed. So these are officially licensed Thunderbirds toys um, in that sense. And interestingly, this one's quite easy to spot now, now as I know what it is, because if you see this Thunderbird 2, it's got this um, gap on the back of it for no apparent reason. But actually, there is a reason for it, because it was, um, it was a launch point. So if you can imagine one of those sort of, I mean, and I'll, I'll show you the, the, um, the screenshot from the ad, but basically there would be a a peg inserted into the back there, you sort of thump the top of it and off the Thunderbird 2 would go and that's why it's got wheels. Because it was it was rigged for that. This one's got the, the same um, timings on it. I just hadn't thought to group them together. But I must have got this as part of my overall kind of job lot um, at some point. And clearly somebody had gone to the trouble of collecting the KFC uh, you know, sort of mini Thunderbirds. So they're quite nice to have because you don't 
you know, the, the actual sort of pod mole is not a very common thing at all to have. Um, and it's not a bad replica of it, I don't think. Indeed, indeed, the Thunderbird 4 is not a bad replica, and neither is the Thunderbird 2. So, as small replicas go, um, there is also a Virgil figure. Uh, now, that I, I have had a look for it, but I don't seem to have that. I don't have that many figures. Um, I think I primarily focused on, on the vehicles, for me personally. That's kind of what I was interested in. Um, but it does now mean that I know what I'm looking for. So I'm definitely going to keep half an eye out because then I could at least sort of say, you know, I've got the full range to show you. But I just thought it was it was it was really nice that someone took the time to actually point out that actually I think it might be this, which then immediately led me down the right path to be able to say, yep, you're absolutely right. Um, and 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 it allowed me then as a knock on to finally identify this mysterious mole. And this Thunderbird 2, which up to this point, I hadn't really realised that I hadn't identified because I'd been so busy doing all the other obvious Thunderbird 2s, I'd forgotten about this little one. And there it was nestled in with all my other Thunderbird 2s. And I thought, ah, now I know where you come from. Um, so I would now again throw this back to your good selves and say, do you know if anyone else did Thunderbird toys as part of their you know, equivalent to Happy Meals. And do you know of any that came on um, the, the cover of the covers of magazines? I've still got a Firefly that I can't identify as being an official released toy because I set out to get a few other examples of sets that might include it and it's not the same one. So I am now intrigued as to exactly where that one came from. But, you know... Um, I'm sure that there are collectors who've been doing this much longer than I have who have a much better grasp of all the other sort of little odd bits and pieces that have been released over time, you know. And um, I haven't even tried to focus on the mole as a as a pod vehicle or indeed many of the other pod vehicles aside from Thunderbird 4. I mean, I'm sure that's a that's probably a lifetime's pursuit in and of itself. But just thought I'd share that... Um, that rather sort of nice conclusion um, to my other videos in that I've now been able to categorically identify an, another Thunderbird 4 and another Thunderbird 2 um, off the back of the Thunderbird 4 being identified and the, of course the mole. Um, and I'm going to have a new uh, piece of Thunderbird's merchandise to show you very shortly. Um, I haven't done the video for it yet but that was one of my pickups from Bolton Toy Fair um, which you may have seen my recent video on. So. Um, I will sort that out and I would also like comments please on this layout because I haven't tended to film against a dark background. I've tended to use white to try and reflect the light more but I'd be interested in your comments um, if this looks better on screen to you then I might I might consider sort of switching over to this sort of arrangement perhaps with a bit more lighting and just see you know see, see what you think really because um, up to this point, I just thought that the white was better to reflect the light all round, but actually I quite like the contrast with the, with the black underneath it. So tell me what you think. Um, but I would be generally interested and um, you know, I might switch over to a slightly different uh, mode of operation going forward. Uh, but that's it for this one. So uh, cheers for now and I'll catch you for the next. Bye.